Hi, Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tower Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see who is it that you will end up marrying. So, who is it that you will settle down with, um, you'll get married to, who is it that you'll ride off into the sunset with. There, this is going to be a general reading and there's also going to be a part two to this reading and in part two we are going to explore the messages in a lot more detail okay uh, perhaps how is it that you might meet this person how will the connection unfold and what else you might need to know now part two is going to be made via the extension link below the video here i also do offer personalized tarot reading so for those of you that are interested please feel free to inquire and my email address Will also be listed just below the video here okay guys so with all of that being said let's go ahead and take a look at who is it that you will marry Okay, firstly, I can see that there is going to be a very strong mental connection between you and this person. So I feel like very strong mental compatibility here, which is, of course, very important for you guys, considering you are um, air signs and you are governed by mental energy, right? So intellectually, you're very compatible here. And that's very important for you because, you know, you're both stimulated by the same type of topics or the same type of conversations and you both have this capacity to indulge in deep conversations that are going to be mutually interesting here for the both of you and that's extremely important here um you also respect and you know will admire each other's intelligence and intellect here and this is absolutely necessary for a healthy relationship here Okay, um, you'll also have this emotional compatibility as well. There is going to be a strong emotional connection here. Okay, so it's a type of a relationship that not only will it look good on paper, but it will translate very well into real life here. Okay, it's a type of a relationship that I feel like is going to be built on commonality here, trust, and a lot of emotional nurturing here. Now, how is it that it's gotten so strong? So here's the thing. This feels like someone whom you have forged a very strong emotional bond with. But it also feels like this person may have already entered your life here for a lot of you. I feel like this is someone whom you have crossed paths with. It's also someone whom you've had a very difficult or very challenging time up until now. Perhaps this is someone who has walked away from you. Perhaps this is someone who is currently who's not speaking to you, okay, the two of you may not be communicating, or if you are, it doesn't kind of feel surface level, this person may have physically or emotionally distanced themselves from you here. And it feels like the both of you, even though you may be in some sort of discord or disconnection, or even like a separation with one another here, it feels like the both of you still haven't released each other's energy here, okay. It also feels like with this person you are struggling with pain okay or with a bit of self-doubt so whether with this person here or whether with this particular um you know connection relationship here so to me it feels like maybe it is someone who has walked out on you in the past or who's walked out on the relationship here but it feels like this is someone who is coming back into the picture here so Maybe a connection here that has 
fallen apart here I definitely feel like is going to be you're going to rebuild it here okay now it does feel like this person is a strong um, either air so Gemini Libra Aquarius fellow air sign or water energy Pisces Cancer Scorpio or they may have either or in their natal charts doesn't have to be but it does feel like it to me it feels like there's a lot of um there's like an authoritative power like an authoritative kind of energy or even authoritative power around this person here okay the king of wands is someone who is very decisive okay the king of wands is someone who is quite intellectual here okay and um, he's very intellectually understanding as well He's someone who has that courage and that intellect here. He's someone who's able to express himself and express his truth here. He's someone who does demand um, attention, I guess, because when he speaks, people listen to him and what he has to say. So your person is coming across as someone who's definitely able to express or communicate here um, very well. This is someone who also has um, a lot of clarity when it comes to perceiving the truth here. Okay, and... He or she does seem to make decisions based on an impartial type of judgment here. This this person can be very straight to the point and sometimes because of their very straightforward nature here, they can hurt people in the process. They don't mean to, but I just feel like, you know, they're just very honest, very honest. And sometimes that can come across as blunt here. Now, I feel like this person is either... It feels like there could be a professional advisor, okay? There may be a professional advisor here, like a solicitor, an attorney of some sort. Could be like a ta taxation consultant, financial advisor. Um, it could There could be a politician here as well, an author here. Um, I feel like this person is very good with their, uh, their words here. Very good with their words here. This person has a lot of um, a lot of ambitious energy. This is someone very ambitious here. Someone who I feel like um, has a lot of high standards and a very strong sense of morality as well here. Okay, um, and someone who I feel like they hold themselves to a lot of high, they hold themselves to high standards here, um, and they will hold this relationship and this commitment here to high standards as well. This is someone who I feel like can definitely work their way out of any problems here. And they have no problems in leaving their emotions at the door when it comes to making decisions and making judgments here. They've got a lot of, uh, I'm seeing that they have a lot of goals, a lot of aspirations that they are striving to achieve here. Just a very high ethical standard with the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords here as well. Um, the problem is this person can, because they do come across as someone who relies heavily on their... Um, uh not emotions what am i saying intellect here sometimes because of this sometimes they can come across very blunt here and not as emotionally invested or as you like them to be here so to me it feels like that can be that this is what you might find challenging they can come across as a little bit cold here a little bit emotionally detached just because they do tend to lean towards that um that you know intellectual side here and when it comes to emotions they can be a little bit restrained here so they might not all be that emotionally expressive at times here and swords are a weapon they are a destructive energy so i just want to say this is the type of a connection which i feel like is going to cause you a lot of pain okay i feel like the two of you are going to hurt each other okay you're going to say hurtful and mean things to each other in the process so you're going to cause each other a lot of pain here it's not that there is malicious motivation or malicious intent behind it. It's just that I feel like each of you have your own self-doubts or your own insecurities or your own personal emotional wounds that are still unhealed and that need nurturing. Okay, So I'm seeing that the both of you need to work on yourselves as individual and then you'll be able to come back together and work on each other um, and work on you know building this connection with each other. And I feel like that's what's caused... The separation or the disconnection or that is will be what will cause the separation of this connection the fact that you guys um might say or do things that will hurt each other in the process here 
this is a connection that feels like the two of you are going to grow together very spiritually, um, emotionally here as well. Okay, um, it feels like the two of you are going to, um, you are going to work through some things. I mean, you will. Because whatever it is that you're going through is preparing you for this connection here. Okay, so for some of you, I did mention you have cross paths with this person. They may have exited your life, but it feels like they are coming back into the picture. Because even though you feel like it's over, it doesn't feel like it's completely over here. And the Ace of Cups predicts that, you know, it is going to be a relationship, a connection here that is going to bring a lot of joy and a lot of happiness for you. Okay, a lot of happiness, joy. Um, it's a fresh new start. Okay, it's a chance to leave the past behind here and enhance everything that is new. New emotions, new beginnings, new feelings here as well. This is someone who might feel like you're going to build um, a very strong foundational structure with. So what the two of you are building is very uh, long lasting. Okay, this is something for the long term. I feel like this person wants commitment. Um, they want to settle down. Okay, they want to build a home. They want to have a family here. They want children. They want, you know, family pets here. They want all of that with you here. And they will ensure and they will do whatever it takes to sort of you know, make sure that the both of you have that and you have all that, you know, the happiness that you deserve. And to me, it feels like you guys will be given a new beginning here. Okay, so in part two of this reading, we're going to explore, you know, when or how is it that this person will be coming back here. And um, we're going to explore more about this inner work that needs to happen here. Okay, and when you, when you know, you might be hearing from this person next, and how exactly will that reconciliation come about? So again, um, part two is going to be made by the extension link below. So just join me there. Um, for those of you interested in a reading, my email is listed below. Otherwise, guys, thank you for your time and attention. Greatly appreciated. Bye for now.